Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, folks, today we are checking out a deal that I got for you guys in Akron, Ohio. 1538 White Ave, Akron 44307. Uh, price for you guys at one nineteen nine. Now, the first thing I need you to do is I don't want you to get distracted by the low rent amounts that I have on the screen for you, right? Six hundred five ninety five, folks. There is over five hundred dollars that is being left on the table right now by this current landlord, okay? He's got these two tenants in there, month-to-month -month tenants, and they're paying $605.95. But, folks, he's not keeping up with the market. He's not keeping up with the housing shortage. He's not keeping up with how things are progressing, and that is awesome for people like you watching my show. The great thing about investing in real estate, especially on the smaller residential scale like this, right? Your, your single family rentals, your duplexes, your triplexes, your quads, small buildings like this is it's an imperfect industry. Okay. We make a lot of money off of uh, people mismanaging properties and, and people not collecting the revenue that they could be collecting based on the actual market conditions. In short, not everybody who has a rental property is a professional investor, a professional landlord, et cetera, et cetera, right? These are people, just regular mom and pop people, right? Like people all over uh, you know, the Cleveland market, the Akron market, the Youngstown market, right? People all over Ohio, uh, you have so many mom and pop landlords that just end up with like one random rental property, right? And this is a prime example of it. And it should be priced even higher than the one nineteen nine, but it's not because they left so much money on the table. But if you were to purchase this, you should be able to, with professional property management, get the rents up to eight fifty a pop. We're looking at 1700 right it's got a lot of good stuff going for it right it's got a newer roof newer furnace newer hot water tanks now as you've seen uh from the footage though right of the inside of that one unit it is not the nicest unit in the world i'm not gonna stand up here on the show and bs you right you can see there's uh, a little bit of sketchiness a little bit of grime a little bit of nastiness to that unit but that is all minor cosmetic stuff right so what the smart investor would do is the smart investor would not immediately go, hey, Mr. Tenant, your rent's $5.95. It needs to be $8.50 in 30 days or you got to move out. You don't want to do that, folks. If you're to do that, and it's not like uh, I'm, you know, one of those like liberals, just woke people crying about stuff, thinking housing's a right. No, you got to pay for it. It's not about that. It just doesn't make financial sense for a landlord to come in with a raggedy unit like this and, and just jack the rent all the way up to market rent just like that. What that's going to do is it's going to create an artificial artificial turnover for you. And artificial turnovers are the biggest return killer for landlords in this business, right? You don't want to have your tenants moving in and out of your units more than is absolutely necessary. And you're doing uh, cash flow investing, lower income investing in Akron, Ohio, folks. You are going to get turnovers in this business. I guarantee you, you're going to do your fair share of turnovers. So do not make more turnovers happen because instead of collecting five ninety five or a little bit more uh, for the next 12, 24, 48, 60 months, uh, you'd be collecting nothing and then have to drop like five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 into repainting, redoing the kitchen, redoing that raggedy carpet. You don't want to do that. So instead, what you want to do is you want to take advantage of the situation you're in. The market is way up. You don't go right to market, especially when your unit's a little raggedy. No, you want to like kind of stick it somewhere in the middle there, right? Get more rental income from your tenant, but still leave them with the incentive not to move, right? If you go right to 850, they can get a better unit than what you're providing, and that's going to cost you money, right? So maybe you take the 595 tenant, kick them up to like seven, seven and a quarter, and then go up 50 the next time and the next time. And eventually, you get them up to market rent, hopefully without a turnover. That's the best and most profitable way uh, to operate a rental property like this. Another thing I really love about this rental property, there's actually three more things I love about this rental property. Number one, the age, 1966 build, okay? 
A lot of people coming here, coming to Akron, right, from the West Coast, right? People from, like, Los Angeles, people from Phoenix. You guys are looking at this like, what? 1966, why is that so good? What's so great about that? This house is old as hell. No, <laughs> nah, bro. Uh, for it being in Ohio, this is like a brand freaking new house, okay? Most of the houses we deal with are going to be, like, turn-of-the-century houses, right? 1910, 1915, a lot of stuff built in the 1920s, right? A lot of multifamily in Northeast Ohio, in the Akron, in the Cleveland area, in the Youngstown area, in the Toledo area. A lot of that stuff built in the 20s, right? So this is much newer, right? So it's a newer build. You're not going to have uh, over 100-year-old main stacks that you have to replace, right? Love that. That's great. Another thing I like is it's brick. It's not wood siding, okay? You don't have to deal uh, with peeling lead-based paint outside, right? That's awesome. You don't have to worry about siding it or anything. That's great. And then lastly is the layout, and that is possibly what sets this apart the most from most uh, multifamily properties in this market, okay? Most of the duplexes in Akron are going to be up, down, 100-year-old houses, okay? You have an up, down, 100-year-old duplex. You're going to have much more turnover because the tenants, they fight. They could hear each other. They have shared basements, okay? I told you earlier, turnovers are the biggest return killer, right? So you want your butts to be in your units as long as possible in a side-by-side -side layout Helps you with that because the tenants are happier, they typically stay longer, and they pay more, meaning you, the landlord, make more money. And there's a lot of money left on the table here, given the fact that the previous landowner is not managing this professionally, thus leaving opportunity for you. If you uh, would like to buy this, you can make cash offers. Cash is king. Cash is always great, but you do not have to make a cash offer. You can make a financed offer. If you do not have a pre-approval, don't you worry. I got you set up with financing, folks. Today's show is actually sponsored by our friend Harjeet. She is over at Wintrust Mortgage. Mortgage. Wintrust Mortgage is able to give investors like you from any of the 50 states in the United States a 30-year fixed interest, low interest rate loan, right? So if a lot of you guys out there are freaking out, trying to figure out what's going on uh, with the mortgage rates, are they going up, are they going down, what's happening, reach out to Harjeet and her team at Wintrust. They'll be able to talk to you about the market, talk to you about their projections on where things are going, and give you a mortgage for this particular property where you'd put down 25%, they'd kick in 75%. And you know what? If you don't end up buying this particular property, but you want to buy others in Akron, you want to buy some in Cleveland, you want to buy some in Toledo, that's okay. They could assist you. Heck, you might be somebody living in Indiana, and you want to buy a property in Indiana. Well, guess what? They're licensed in all 50 states. They could hook you up as well. So what you'll need to do, if you do want to pay cash, again, you don't have to, but if you do, Send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Include the amount you want to offer and include proof of funds of your cash so you could actually, you know, close on that cash offer. Or if you want to finance it, include the amount you want to offer and a pre approval letter from Harjeet and Wintrust or any lender of your choice. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.